Hi, Doug Masnagetti here with another guitar lesson. This one is um, on uh, Cinnamon Girl by uh, Neil Young. Um, this lesson is organized like all my others. I do a quick introduction here, go move on to a cover, and then on to the lesson. So you can skip forward if you want. Um, I guess uh, the Cinnamon Girl was released on uh, Neil Young's album where he was backed by the band Crazy Horse in 1969 um, and I'm really not that familiar with this album uh, I, I believe the name of it was um, we all we all know this is nowhere yeah we all know this is nowhere I believe that was it anyway uh, it's uh, it's an old tune and um, it's played in drop deep so you'll want to bring bring your two D, your two E strings, the high E and the low E, drop them straight down to a D. And uh, without further ado, I guess we'll move on to the cover. Okay, so you either uh, just got done watching or skipped over the cover uh, of Cinnamon Girl. Um, the song is played in a drop D tuning, so you want to take your sixth string and tune, down tune it from an E to a D, and take your first string and down tune it from an E to a D. And um, 
The song opens with uh, just bar chording and you know the, the the A configuration kind of bar chord where you're using your ring finger to cover the fourth and the third and the second string. And you want to do that up on the seventh fret and you want to bar the fifth fret, but you, you don't want to bar the sixth string. And you, want to, you want to let that thing ring, right? So your first string will tend to be dead, you know, depending on how good you are at doing an A and A bar. It is possible. <laughs> it's usually dead for me. So uh, anyway, it just starts out with... So, it, yeah, that's right. So it starts with um, uh, you just barring on the fifth. And you hammer on your, your ring finger onto the the fourth, the third, and the second string on the seventh fret. And drop down and cover the fifth and the fourth string on the second fret and um, actually cover the fifth with your index finger. Then also cover the fifth string on the third uh, fret. So, the configuration I just told you, hit the strings, th then um, take off your middle finger, then just play the 5th and the 4th open, then uh, bar the 6th and the 5th on the 3rd fret, and then uh, do it on the 5th on the fret. And you're hitting with the pick on just about all of those. I don't think any of those are like hammer-ons or pull-offs. So it's so it's uh, what I just showed you. Then is and the second time through, he just he doesn't follow through and do the uh, fifth fret. He just stays on the third fret and lets it hang. So do that again real slow. And he does that twice then. He, he, he does that progression. Um, twice through and then uh, after the second time through he drops into a, a D chord now this is a uh, remember you're down tune here so this is actually a D your, your first string so this is still actually a, a proper D chord uh, so he's that's what he starts out in and uh, so so you, you've come through to do an open before I actually now you can try to pick or you can just sort of strum them um, you now you are singing during this uh, I think it probably sounds better if you can just sort of pull off a little bit of picking um, on the individual strings but uh, so again you, you start out with the D chord which I'm playing with my index finger covering the second fret on the third string and my ring finger covering the third fret on the second string and first string is open that's a D and then he drops down to this I'm not sure what this is now with the flatted uh, <laughs> first string uh, it would be an A minor so drop down to this A minor configuration where I'm covering the second fret, um, oh, sorry, the first fret on the on the second string and the second fret on the fourth string. And just sort of pick around on them while you're singing. And then um, you drop your ring finger 
onto the third fret of the fifth string. And while you're playing this, you know, you start out with the with the A7 where you're not you don't have your ring finger on. And you wanna you wanna be you wanna be hitting this string up here. That should be sort of coming through during the whole progression. So C chord, so I'm, I'm just completed. I took my the A7 configuration and I dropped my ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string, right? And then take your ring finger, drop it on the th third fret of the sixth string, and slide it up immediately to the fifth fret. <clears throat> Put your index finger onto the third fret of the second string. So what I just showed you then on, on, the, on the, the course is uh, so you want to get that, that um <laughs> kind of sound there if you can. Um, and then um, he just does this really simple uh, you know, barring of two strings, uh, working his way up the neck. He starts starts out on the third fret, barring the sixth and the fifth string on the third fret. So, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to play through it one time to remember, so... Yeah, that's right. So, so you, uh, you start with the barring the third fret, fifth and sixth string, then you uh, hit, uh, hit the uh, those same two strings where you're barring them on the fifth fret, and then you do an open fifth and fourth, and then uh, uh, bar the uh, fourth and the third string on the fifth fret and play them. Play them, but hang on a second. Yeah, so bar them, and then uh, uh, the same two strings, bar them on the uh, uh, seventh fret with your, your ring finger. And then play them open, bar them again on the seventh fret, and I think that's it. You might do that again. Let me just find out. So you should end with an open on that, okay? So... And then you... Come down to this A7 configuration that I showed you earlier. Pull your index, hit it, and pull your index finger off, hit it again, and then index finger back on, hit it again, and then add your um, uh, ring finger onto the third string, second fret. So, actually I pulled both off, I take that back, so I, it's not just my ring, my index finger, I'm pulling both of those, those, those fingers off. And then you add your, your, your ring finger to, to get that nice A minor. So...
Okay, um, so that's basically the verse, right? And so after he does that, he goes through, the, he goes through that twice, you know, singing the first round of the, the, the first go through the verse, the first verse, and um, and then he goes back up to the bar thing that we were going earlier. And then he'll drop back into the second verse, right? Um, so there's this little interlude thing uh, that he does where uh, after he's he's done the second verse, he comes back to this. And then he uh, bars bar the, the, the fifth fret. And that's it. Oh, send me money now. I'll make it somehow. I need another chance. So you just slide down to the third fret, bar it, and uh, add your ring finger to the fifth string on the fifth fret. You see, my baby loves to dance. Yeah. That's just an A, so you can. No, actually, I think you want to you want to play Barra so that you kill this string because uh, that's not it doesn't belong in an A chord. And then he goes back into the D, and this time, so this is his little instrumental on the guitar, which is it's actually sort of a boring instrumental, like it's not much of a lead, but it, it sounds kind of cool. And um, the way I play it, and I didn't play it very well, I don't think, on the cover. Um, is uh, you just want to plant this ring finger and leave it there. So do start off with the D and really hit heavy on these first two strings, right? They're, that's, those are both playing a D, right? And then rather than going into an E minor thing, just keep that, that ring finger planted there and just move your index finger over one string. Whoops. Uh, two strings to the, the fourth string covering the second fret with your index finger. Okay? So. And keep emphasizing these strings. And then add your ring finger. And because you're putting your index finger back on the third fret of the second string, you know, can keep that ringing going. That, sorry. Yeah, like that. And that's pretty much the whole song, right? So, you know, when you, you start your vocalization, when you go into the D, you start the song. When I pull off, that's when I start and quickly go into the D chord. I could be happy the rest of my life with the Yeah? Okay. Oh, and just the last little blink that he ends on, you know. So we begin the song doing this. That's the last time through, and you pause there, and yet, and put your index finger on the third string, second fret. And you just you just start doing some hammer-ons onto the third fret of the fifth and the 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 fourth string, and then then I'm hammering on to the the third string there, keeping my index finger on the second fret and hammering on to the third fret. So. So just go in there and mess around that you'll figure that out. Um, but it sounds kind of cool. And so he, you know, he does that. And then he'll end on that open bass, 
you know, just slam it. Um, you know, if you have an amp, you crank it up. So that's um, Cinnamon Girl. Um, hopefully this was helpful.